Hi everyone, in this lesson we are going to be having a look at how to play Jolene by Dolly Parton. I'm going to split this into two lessons. So the, the first half uh, of this video is going to be looking at a simple strummed version of the song, and then we'll look at a slightly more complicated finger-picked version of the song. If you want to skip ahead uh, just to look at the finger-picked version of the song, I will leave a time code in the description. Okay then, so the first thing to note is that we have a capo here on the 4th fret. Okay, our first chord is an A minor chord, and this song is played using a 2-4 a or a 2-2 two, two timing. Uh, so basically we've got two beats per bar. Okay, so for every bar we're going to strum two times. Okay, so the intro section then is just going to be an A minor chord, and it's going to be strummed for eight bars. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we come then first to the chorus, and the chorus is going to start off again on our A minor, so we've got a bar of that, so two strums. We've then got a bar of C, a bar of G, then two bars of A minor, two bars of G, and then four bars of A minor. Two, three, four. Okay, and then all of that repeats. So A minor, C, G, A minor for two, G for two, A minor for four. Okay, so if I just put some words to that so you can see how it fits together. Jolene, 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 Jolene. I'm begging of you, please don't take my man. Jolene, 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 Jolene. Please don't take him just because you can. Okay, the verse is very similar. We're starting again with our A minor chord. We're going to play one bar of that, then a bar of C, bar of G, bar of A minor, then two bars of G, and then four bars of A minor. Okay, and again that goes around twice, so that'll be... A minor, C, G, A minor, G for two bars, A minor for four bars, A minor, C, G, A minor, G for two bars, A minor for four. Okay, and again we'll put some words to that, so Your beauty is beyond compare With flaming locks of auburn hair With ivory skin and eyes of emerald green Your smile is like a breath of spring Your voice is soft like summer rain And I cannot compete with you, Jolene Okay, uh, after that there'd be another verse, then another chorus, another verse, and another chorus. Okay, so uh, what we could do now then is we could make it a little bit more interesting by adding uh, a strumming pattern to it. Okay, so the pattern that I tend to use is this, where we do bass, down, bass, up, down. Okay, and you could do this with your thumb, you could do it with a pick. Uh, I'll show you the method I use in just a minute. But the important thing here is that when you're playing your bass notes for the A minor and the C, they'll both be on the, the A string, the fifth string. For your G, they'll move on to the low E string or the sixth string. Okay, so you do a bass note, a down strum, bass, up, down. Bass, down, bass, up, down. Okay, so for the chorus, that would sound like this. Jolene, Jolene. Jolene, Jolene, I'm begging 
of you, please don't take my man. Jolene, 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 Jolene. Please don't take him just because you can. And the verse. Your beauty is beyond compare With flaming locks of auburn hair With ivory skin and eyes of emerald green Your smile is like a breath of spring Your voice is soft like summer rain And I cannot compete with you, Jolene my thumb there the uh, the strumming pattern that I tend to use for this is just a variation on that uh, where I use my thumb to play the bass notes and then I use the middle and index finger to actually strum the string so I'll go thumb middle and index to strum down thumb again for the bass and then up down with the middle two fingers okay it's something I picked up from watching uh, Mark Knopfler from Dire Straits fame the way he tends to do strumming. Okay, so that would give you Jolene, 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 Jolene. I'm begging of you, please don't take my man. Jolene, 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 Jolene. Please don't take him just because you can. Okay, right, we'll move on now to have a look at how to do it as a finger picking song. Okay, so for the finger pick version of the song, you can make it somewhat simple or you can make it a bit harder. It really depends on how far you want to take it. But what I'll do first is show you the main pattern that uh, is going to be running throughout the song. Okay, so we're, if we start on uh, the A minor chord, I'll show you the pattern on the A minor. Okay, the pattern is this. Okay, it's just that. What we're doing there is we're playing the thumb of our picking hand, this is. We're playing the thumb on the on the A string, on the fifth string. Okay, we're then going to play the D string and the B string together. I should point out actually that what I'm doing throughout this is we've got this alternating picking pattern going on. Okay, so thumb is going to be playing the bass note, whichever the uh, bass note happens to be, in the case of the A minor, it'll be on the, the A string or the fifth string, and then that's alternating between the A string and the D string or the fourth string. Yeah, and that goes on constantly. So on the C chord, it'll be exactly the same. And for the G, now notice here when I play the G, I'm not bothering to Put the whole thing on. I'm just using my third finger on the third fret of the sixth string, the low E string. Okay, because that's the uh, the only chord, the only note that you're going to need to press down for the G chord. Okay, so the alternating here happens between the the sixth string, the low E, and the the D string, the fourth string. So for the A minor, it's then the C. Okay, and that alternation, that alternating thumb is going on constantly. Okay, so if we just go back to the A minor chord then. So we've had that open A string, the uh, the fifth string. We're then going to do the thumb on the D string, the fourth string, and the middle finger on the second string or the B string. And they're going to be played together. Okay, so one, two. We're then going to have the thumb again on the the A string or the fifth string. We're then going to use the index finger to play the the G string or the third string. Then we've got the the D or the fourth string again with the thumb. And then middle finger again playing the B string or the second string. Yeah, so that is fifth string, third, fourth, second or A. G, D, B. Okay, so together. Okay, and 
that is the pattern that we're going to be using throughout. We'll add things to it, but that is the, the, the main pattern that runs throughout the entire song. Exactly the same for the C and for the G, exactly the same again, but this time when we play the um, bass note, we're going to be up here on the sixth string, but we're still alternating to the D. Okay, right, so if we just put the chorus together just using that basic pattern, you should get an idea for how the rest of the song is going to go. So we have Jolene, Jolene. sense okay um the verse progression then as as before very similar starting on the a minor again your beauty is beyond compare with flaming locks of almond hair with ivory skin and eyes of emerald green Soft like summer rain, and I cannot compete with you, Joey. Okay, so the intro then that's the interesting part of this song, isn't it? It's the sort of the bit that's most recognizable, and that goes like this. So for this, you're going to start off with, it's actually an ASOS 2 chord. Um, you take the first finger away from the A minor chord, leaving the middle two fingers down. What we're going to do is we're going to start by playing the, we'll do this in four parts actually. So the first part is this. Okay, so that is the A string, or the fifth string, the G string, or the third string, then the D string, or the uh, fourth string, and then the B string or the second string. And finger wise, that'll go thumb, index, thumb, middle. Okay, then you're going to have this. Okay, so for this, you need to take your fingers off. You're going to play the A string or the fifth string, play the B string and the D string, or the second string and the fourth string. Play those together, and then you're going to hammer the A minor chord back on. You only need the first and the second finger of the A minor chord on the B string and on the D string. So first string B, uh, sorry, first fret B, second fret on the D. Okay, so so far that gives us. Okay, then the next part is this. Okay, so this is all open strings, you don't need your hand down at all. It's the A string or the fifth string, B string or second string, D string, fourth string, and then the G string or the third string. And that'll again be, this time actually, sorry, it'll be middle. Uh, this time then that'll be the thumb, the middle, the thumb again, and then the index. And I'll point out here that um, having listened to this song, um, I, I sometimes hear this last note on the, the G string, and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just hear... Other times I hear that extra note on the end. So sometimes it could just be the A string, the B string, and the D string. Sometimes as well, then that G string gets added to the end. So when it's played during the intro, I'm fairly certain I can't hear it. I'm sure it stops there on that D string, but other times in the song I, I think I can hear it. So you could play 
with or without that note, it really doesn't matter. You won't notice the difference much. So I'm going to include it for now, just because I think including it helps keep the flow going. Okay, so so far we have... Okay, or without that last note. Okay, whether you play that note or not, the next part is going to be this. Okay, so for this we are going to put the first finger down on the first fret of the B string. We're going to play the B string or the second string along with the A string or the fifth string. And then we're going to pull that first finger off to open. We then have the D string or the fourth string. And then the G string or the third string. And that'll be thumb and middle together, then thumb, and then the index. Okay, so all of that put together then sounds like this. Okay, I'll do it again without that extra note. Okay, and I will leave it up to you to choose which you play. Okay, and that then is played pretty much wherever there's an A minor chord. Okay, it's a two bar sequence. And uh, so for the intro section, that is going to be played four times in total. Okay. Okay, when we come into the chorus then, uh, we get uh, the first A minor, we get this. Okay, I'm fairly certain that's what's being played there. But you can definitely hear this double hit on the B string. Uh, you can hear it very clearly on the first chorus when she first starts singing. I'm not sure about the other uh, choruses throughout the song, or the other verses throughout the song, but I've added it for all of the choruses and all of the verses. Just because I think it sounds good. The um, there's a lot. There's actually sort of multiple guitar parts going on in this song, so it's sometimes a little bit difficult to hear which uh, guitar parts being played. But I quite like that. So that one is played with the open A string or the fifth string. We're just on an A minor chord here. Then we have the B string, the second string, along with the D string, the fourth string. Okay. We then have the B string again along with the open A string, or the fifth string. Then have the D string, or the fourth string, and then the G string, or the third string. Okay. And then from there we'd go on to the C, and we'd use that pattern that we looked at earlier. Then we'd have the G. Okay, and then when we get to this A minor here, where we'd have the two bars of A minor, we play that same A minor that we played for the intro. Then go to the G, and we're going to do this for two bars. Then the A minor, and we play the same one that we played for the intro, and we play it twice. Okay, so that chorus then, Jolene, 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 I'm begging of you, please don't take my man. And so for the verse, we're going to do something very similar. We're going to start with the A minor chord, and I'm going to do that one with the double hit on the B. Then you've got your C, G, and then here you've got A minor again, and I'm just going to use the regular finger picking pattern. And then go back up to the G. And then we have the A minor again using the one we used from the intro. Okay, 
and that's played through twice as well. So that'll give you your beauty is beyond compare with flaming locks of open hair, with ivory skin and eyes of emerald green. Your smile is like a breath of spring, your voice is soft like summer rain, and I cannot compete with you, Jolie. Okay, and that pretty much gives you everything you need to know to play Jolene. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.